weekend so far. It is Saturday night at like 10 o'clock, but I thought, what a better time to film what's in my makeup kit than 10 o'clock at night. So, as you guys can tell by the title, this video is all about what I have in my freelance makeup kit. I know that I haven't done a whole lot of conversations about this on this channel, but I've been getting some requests and some recommendations to go ahead and um, film and upload a what's in my makeup kit video. So that is what I'm going to do. It is a very long process building your kit, but I'm here to show you guys what I have as far as my freelancing makeup kit and it's really just to kind of help you guys get an idea as to what you could put in your kit. I have been collecting items over I would say the last two to three years and as you guys know from my why I quit teaching to become a full-time makeup artist video I have only become really serious in this part of my life in the last I would say two to three months. Over the course of the last couple of weeks since I did enroll in the makeup school this is just to kind of help you guys out out, um, if there's anything that you feel like you need to get or just some ideas as to what you could put in your kit and again not bragging not you know showing off or anything but it really is truly honestly to help you guys build your own so um, also at the end of this video I will be announcing the giveaway winner I'm so sorry that it's taken this long I've had so much going on in my life but there will be two winners announced at the end of the video another giveaway announcement at the end of the video as well so I did one when I hit 100 subscribers and I'm almost to 350 so I'll be doing another one pretty quick so stay tuned as well for that announcement anyway guys let's go ahead and just jump right into what I have in my makeup kit all right so I have my makeup kit right here on the floor next to me so there's a lot so make sure you get a snack you are sitting down you're enjoying your time because this video is probably going to be a little bit long so here we go so we'll start with skincare I'll kind of show you guys what I feel like is good to have in your kit what I feel like is a necessity um, Maybe talk about some things I still need to get for my kit and then we'll go from there. And again, you guys, or I guess I didn't say this yet, but if you have any questions or comments about what's in my kit or you have questions or comments about what you, you know, should get or shouldn't get, things that maybe a beginner should have, go ahead and leave those comments down below and I will let you guys know what I know and kind of give you guys my insight into what you should have. So we'll start with skincare, with, with, with skincare and then we'll go from there. Okay, so... I feel like an important part of your kit are the tools that you use and the products that you use in order to clean someone's face. That's a really important part of makeup artistry and a lot of the time we aren't told that. Um, as a makeup artist, it's really important to prep the face, to have a clean canvas before you put makeup on a client. So anytime you have a model or a client that comes in with any kind of makeup on their face anywhere, it's really important to first prep the skin. So that being said, it's always important to have the proper tools to do that so that you can have a clean canvas for when you do work on the face. Now, um, I've just got some brush cleaner in here. I might as well show you since it's a liquid. So I keep my brush cleaner with me just in case like I'm on the go when I go from job to job. I can't clean my brushes uh, right away. I also have the brush switch. You just stick the brush in, you kind of move the brush around and then it dries instantly or as instantly as possible. And if you have any questions, you can leave me a comment down below and I'll talk about each item individually. Um, basically, having skincare in your kit is super important from moisturizers, makeup remover wipes, also toners are really important. Make sure that you have toner, a toner in your kit. Um, we've got some moisturizers. That's really important too is having moisturizers. So I have a plethora of moisturizers. I have different ones for like oily skin, sensitive skin, combo skin, normal skin, just because I don't really want to have just one kind in my kit. I want to have enough for all skin types. Anytime you have combination skin or oily skin, you want to give them a product that is oil free because you don't want to add more oil to it. Um, I've got some lip products in here. Lip therapy is really important for your clients. You always want to make sure that before you do anything to a client's lips, they have either exfoliated, so that's what these are for. I have little exfoliators, and they've moisturized. So you really want to make sure that the lips are well prepped, that they're taken care of, and that you have your clients 
really focus on lip care. I have a bunch of different sponges. Uh, so I have some from Real Techniques. These are just contour sponges. Along with this one, it's a miracle um, sculpting sponge. This is just a little sponge from MAC that's nice for powdering. Not necessarily foundation. I don't like this for foundation, but it's good for a lot of other things. Got a little extra powder, powder puff in here if I wanted to use that. I have some tweezers. I have an eyelash curler, just like a regular eyelash curler. And then I just have some of these guys. So I've got these applicators. These, and then I or I got uh, little mascara ones, like brush cleaning pads, and then some more brush cleaner. Just So in my kit, I have a plethora of lashes. I have all different kinds. I have some from House of Lashes, LadyMoss.com. And then I have some kind of mid-range. Um, and then I just have some that are multi-packs. I've got some of my favorites in here, the 113s. And then I have two different kinds of glue. I have the Duo White and then the Duo Dark. I just picked up another multi-pack of the Demi Wispies. And then these are also important too, to pick up the individuals. So these come with the short and the medium. These are more of the 113 Wispies because they are my favorite to use. They're really good lashes. And then I just picked up some scissors. These are the Tweezerman scissors. It comes with a spoolie. These are specific for brow shaping and cutting lashes because you never know when you're doing a client who may need a little bit of brow shaping so that you have a good application for your makeup or whatever. So of course it's important to have primers, it's important to have concealers, literally everything you're, you think you're going to need it's important to have in there. So, and then if you have any detailed questions you can go ahead and ask me and I'll do a separate video you guys on maybe like what brushes are in my brush belt because I feel like that's a completely different video like I could show you guys what I have in my brush belt but again it's it's just another video in and of itself because it's gonna take more time so let's talk about um, primers and the fact that you need to have different primers in your brush kit or in your brush kit in your makeup kit so I'm not gonna go through and show you all the primers that I have in there just because it will be way too much information so you should essentially have primers for all skin types dry skin, normal skin, combo skin, oily skin, um, you know, whatever skin type you can think of, normal skin, you should have that in your kit because it's important to prime the face, obviously, so that you have a good makeup application, but it's also important to meet the skin types of your clients. You shouldn't just have one primer in your makeup kit. You want to have a plethora of primers. If you guys are concerned or you don't know what primers are best for different skin types, I would just look here on YouTube and really kind of start investigating and really start to do your research on what primers you want to have in your kit because um, it's not something you learn overnight. You really need to investigate it. You really need to research it and kind of find out what primers are best for your kit. So I just have some drugstore. I have some high end. It really is going to depend on you. I have a skin enhancer illuminator from Mac. This is just, um, like a rosy illuminator and then it has SPS of SPF of 35 which you really want to be careful with SPF because it can have some white flashback in your photos so really really be careful when you're applying an SPF to a client that's in an illuminator or primer if they're going to be doing photos you don't want to use that just like makeup artist trick sometimes I'll have like a pore professional in here I'll put um, my strobe cream sometimes goes in here I have like a lot of different primers that I might want to try out for a client I'll just pop in here really quick but these are just some examples okay so it's really important obviously to have different foundations as far as coverage and skin types and skin textures and um, ethnicities and colors it really kind of depends on your demographic of the area you're working in or just kind of who you know your clients are going to be more of so I have a lot of lighter skin tones obviously because before I started my kit I had a ton of my own foundations and I just kind of added them in and then I've slowly been grabbing my own from drugstore to high-end depending on the um, clients you have so something that came with my kit are the matte face and bodies I'm telling you guys this kit was phenomenal I was so excited to get this kit it was really really good 
So in our kit, we got a plethora of different colors. We got a C6, which is a cool tone, so cool six. An N1, which is more of like a neutral. And then we have a C3, and then we have an N9. So this one's a really dark one because they wanted us to kind of use this as a mixer for some of the other skin tones. Which I feel like is really cool. I mean, I'm glad that they gave us the darker one. I'm not a huge fan of these. I think they're really sheer, um, but they're great for pictures. So, I mean, if you're going to start your kit, I would definitely recommend starting with something like this. That is, you know, something that's buildable um, and that you can really have to mix and kind of shape around. But something I picked up today because I wanted to have the option of adding those to something so I picked up two of the match, what are these, match master, and these have SPF in them, but it's only 15, so I feel comfortable using them on a client, but I just picked up the colors 2.0 and 5.0 to add to some of the shades that I have in the um, face and body. The reason why I went with these is because I didn't want to focus so much on neutral, warm, cool, whatever. I really wanted to focus on just having a shade match. So I went with the 2.0 and the 5.0 and I can really take some of the face and body and kind of mix them in with these. Something really cool about my school is that once we're done they offer us a 25% off discount uh, pro card for Mac and then for some other stores. So I'm definitely going to be filling up my kit when I get that pro card uh, at the end of the week. So I'm excited for that. We'll move on to concealers and I'll kind of talk to you guys about some of the concealer palettes that Mac gave me and then some of the concealers that I added myself. So these came with the kit which is awesome because they're 40 bucks a piece and I feel like that is so cool that we got these in our kit. So we got the Pro Conceal and Correct palettes which are awesome. We got one for medium and we got one for dark which I absolutely, it's awesome for me because I already had a lot of foundation or a lot of concealer for lighter skin tones so the fact that I got the medium um, and the deep is just awesome. So this is the medium one and then this is the deep and you can do a lot of different mixings with these which I feel like they're really really beneficial to have. There's some color correctors in this one as well as this one. So you've got some color correctors down here and some color correctors down here. So something that we learn in school is that it's better to color correct and conceal with more of like a salmon or peach tone and I really appreciated that information. We've got some higher end concealers in here from Kat Von D to Too Faced. I have a couple of matte concealers. One of them is the Studio Finish and then one of them is the Studio Sculpt. They're both in really different colors. So we've got an NW15 and an NW25. And then I've just got some drugstore um, concealers in here. So we've got anything from Rimmel to Wet n Wild. But you can just kind of see what a plethora of different concealer brands I have. You never know what a client's going to want, so it's good to just include everything you can. I also incorporate into this category my eye primers. And again, I have um, some drugstore and then some higher end. The only ones I have in here are NYX eye primers. Um, or no, actually a Too Faced and Urban Decay and a Fiona Styles, which I really love these eye primers. If I can't stress anything to you guys throughout this 500 hour video, it's to have things that are going to meet as many different skin types as you can or as many different skin tones. So, so I picked up a Naked Skin Concealer and this is in the color Medium Dark. And then I also picked up a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one is a little bit darker, so this one is in the color Amand. A Monday, a Mond, a Monday, I'm not sure. I also picked up a medium color in the Photo Finish Primer by Smashbox. I already have a sample size of this in just a regular, you know, flesh toned one, but I wanted to have a darker one in my kit just in case I needed it. So it is important for you guys to have a plethora of different um, eyeshadows in your kit. And what I thought was really cool that they gave us was a thing full like we had a ton of eyeshadows in our kit and we had a ton of like um face powders like blushes and stuff and like contour powders so these eyeshadows right here actually came with the kit so these are ones that i didn't purchase myself although some of them are doubles so these are the ones that came with our kit We've, and then these are some palettes that i've made myself that i'm now taking with me in my kit so i just have started to create 
some orange tones, some purple tones. I'm just trying to create my own palette. Over here I've got some cooler tone browns, warmer tone browns. There's a couple shades in here that are Anastasia, but they fit in there. So I'm like, why not? Let me just put them in there. So these are just my shadows or like my satins. So I've got those. So oftentimes I'll take like my ride or die palette with me because it has a ton of different shadows that I can take with me. They gave us these blushes and they gave us a contour shade a regular like powder shade and then they gave us four blushes which I thought was really cool then my own little kind of contouring kit that I take with me are these four guys I have two cool tone and two warm tone just so that I can have an option of what I want to do sometimes I'll use these for bronzers it really depends but and then these are just some more of my blushes that I created so I just have different skin tones uh, di the ones for different skin tones uh, I've got some mattes in here. I have some shimmer blushes. Really just kind of depends on what the client prefers. And then I've got this little naked flush guy. This is older, but I really think it's got some pretty shades. I have a bunch of highlighters because I never know which highlighter I want to use. So it's always good to kind of have different highlighters with you. I have Wet n Wild. I have a limited edition Nutcracker one from MAC. That comes with a blush too. I have Adored from MAC. This is really great for darker skin tones. And then I have one from e.l.f. which is also great for darker skin tones. It's this guy right here. It's actually a really pretty powder. So I just have those because having as many options as possible is good as long as you can fit it in your kit and it doesn't overwhelm you, I guess you could say. I don't know. <laughs> Does that make sense? I guess. Eye pencils, eyebrow pencils, and mascara is super important in the world of makeup kits, okay? So I have different mascaras that I use for my clients, just kind of depending on what they like. I have anything from the MAC False Lashes um, Extreme Black. This is what, this came in our kit, so that was really kind of cool. Treese Waterproof One, it's actually a really, really good mascara. It's the Glamin Doll. A Roller Lash from Benefit. I have a They're Real from Benefit, and then I have a Better Than Sex Too Faced. This is a Maybelline Waterproof Volume Express, so I have three waterproof and three not. We'll go with eyeliners. So I've got this one by Urban Decay. I have colored liners, and then I have um, just like regular old eyeliners. So this is one of the ones that was a special one by Jean... Mikel Biscuit, I think it is. But okay, and then in our kit, they gave us a bunch of different options, which I thought was really cool. So they gave us the coffee eye pencil. So they gave us the smolder eye coal. And this is again, it's just a really pretty black. So I have all different kinds of colors of eye pencils just because I feel like that is a really important um concept to your to your kit so I have one by elf it's just a black one I have one by Tarte it's the fake awake pencil and then I have just like blues and greens and I have some Rimmel liners some Catrice liners let's see we'll talk about brows two of the benefit um, goof proof brow pencils I got the number one and the number six and then in our kit they gave us three different pencils okay so we got one for blonde already this is the color fling and then we got one for like medium brown. This is the color lingering. And then we got one that's a really dark brown. This is the color stud. Then I picked up another one today for auburn like hair color and things like that. And this is in the color stretch. So now I've got like four different MAC ones. I have one from CoverGirl, which is a really good one that I absolutely love. I have a little brow this way gel from Rimmel. I have my Anastasia. This is just like universal taupe. So I have the Brow Wiz. I have one from Rimmel. This is more like for blonde um, hair color. I just found right here another eye pencil. This one I think I added to it. So this is Costa Riche from MAC and I just added this into my kit the other day. This is just an eye coal. Um, it's a really pretty like soft brown. It's a lot softer than the one that they gave us. So I just added that into my kit. Um, I've got a ton of different lip, lip pencils in here because that's just an important part of your kit. So I have a ton of different ones. As you can see, I've got a bunch of NYX because they are great, great pencils. Different colors as far as I've got some browns here. Um, got another brown tone, another brown tone. Got a lot of different brown tones. 
And then over here, we've got just some different pinks, some neutrals, some purples, things like that. And then MAC gave us um, two different lip pencils. They gave us the color Spice, which is awesome. It's a great neutral color, and I had already had one, so I popped my Spice in there as well, just so that I could have two. And then I also have the color Chestnut. And then for eyeliners, so this is the Rapid Black. This is one of the MAC eyeliners, and they gave us a gel liner, which I'm really excited about. This is the Black Track from MAC. So these two actually came in our kit, and I think that that was really generous. So I've got those two, and then I did pick up something the other day, because I kind of saw it, and I was like, ooh, that's kind of cool. So I got the Curvitude liner. This is a liquid liner, ultra fine tip by Maybelline, and I got, I got good reviews, so I'm like, let me pick it up from my kit. But I have a lot of pigments in my kit as well, like loose pigments from MAC, loose pigments from CoverGirl, Makeup Geek, Wet n Wild. If you guys are interested in the pigments that I do have in my kit, leave me a comment down below and I'll kind of let you know which ones I suggest. Um, but I would maybe say like tan or naked or melon and those are all from MAC but there's all kinds of different pigments that you can put in your kit. It just kind of depends on if you like to work with pigments. So let's talk about um, powders and what you can use as far as powders in your kit. They gave us medium um, in the mineralized skin finish. They gave us light in the mineralized skin finish. And then they gave us dark in the mineralized skin finish. Now, of course, there's all kinds of ones I could still get. If you could get these three powders, the medium, light, and dark, you would be in a really good spot. So I've just added a couple of my own powders to this just because I, I like these powders. The last thing we have is lips and then setting sprays, and then we're done, and I'll kind of show you what I carry all of this stuff in. So, so I have a lot of different options for lips, but something that I wanted to point out was the three lip palettes that they gave us with the kit. So these are the different palettes they gave us for the lip options and there are so many and I'm so so grateful that they gave it to us like it's just awesome that they gave us as many palettes anyway just really pretty like brown mauvey colors and then they gave us this guy which is the preferred pink so that's kind of cool this has like pink and purple and just all kinds of different fun colors and these are really great because you can mix these um, when you have a spatula and like a mixing board I think that's really fun and then this is called editorial reds oh cool these these have the colors in all of them that's awesome so these are just the reds I put a lot of different lip products in here just because I wanted to have a bunch of options but something else they gave us is the lip gloss because this is what you use to mix up the lipsticks to give it a really pretty like glossy finish so this is like a, just a really sticky um, a really sticky like mixing medium and you can also use this actually for the eyes to make your um, shadow the more of like the glossy look so I thought that was pretty cool so the lip products that I added to my kit I've got a ton, a ton of different colors and a lot of them are like neutrals so I just placed them in here because they're awesome to just have you know so there's like purples and nudes and pinks and all these guys if I went through them all this would be like I said an hour-long video which it probably already is and then the two they gave us which one of these is my absolute favorite and I wear it all the time you guys know it in my video is the color spite it is phenomenal it is such a pretty color it's so so good so this is the color spite and then this is the color oh baby which I think is a really interesting color but last but not least for my kit I have setting sprays and I have a bunch of different kind of setting sprays kind of depending on my client and what they like I have the pure cosmetics miracle mist I have a Milani make it dewy just so if they want something dewy that I, that I have that option to give them I have the urban decay all-nighter makeup spray this is a really great product to have in your kit I feel like you should not not have this in your kit if that makes sense I cannot live without fix plus I can't I just can't I do a lot with it and I use it for setting spray I use it for prep and prime I use it for a lot of different reasons I went ahead and bought another one because I do a lot with it in my kit pre makeup post makeup during makeup whatever it may be so I've just got those four different setting sprays because I feel like they kind of handle the whole business so that is it you guys that is what i have in my kit i told you it was a lot i told you it was going to be a long video i hope that i didn't bore you to death if you have any questions or comments please let me know 
in the comments down below how I can help, what I can do to kind of lessen the load and lessen all this information. You don't need all this in your kit, you guys. There are just, you know, you can start out with one of each, um, like skin type item or skin tone item or whatever it may be, a couple of each thing. Um, you know, a lot of this was provided to me when I went to makeup school. A lot of it was given to me in the kit, which I'm very grateful for. And that's kind of where I added all of the stuff I already had in my kit. I kind of added all of that into it. So that's another thing how I, I was blessed in that way. This is what I carry all of my stuff in. So this cool little bag, I know you guys can hardly see it, but this bag is where we keep all of our stuff. And right here, we've got all these different compartments. Those are all my pigments, but we've got all these different compartments that we keep everything in. It makes it really easy, although it is heavy with all the stuff I got. So I think I'm gonna get one with wheels, um, but I'm not sure. We'll see how my life goes from there. Something I do recommend is really making sure that you are okay without insurance. You are okay without certain things that you would get in a corporate job because you are your own boss when you're a makeup artist. I do have a business license. I am a self proprietor. I am, you know, my own boss essentially. I work my own hours. Um, when I'm not working at my part-time jobs. So that's just kind of a little makeup tip or a little tip from a business owner to someone who is interested in starting out in the makeup business. So um, um, something else I wanted to mention to you guys, if you're interested in hearing about how I became a makeup artist or kind of my tips and tricks for becoming a makeup artist or a freelance makeup artist, maybe some things that I would offer to you, let me know in the comments if you are interested in that or give me a thumbs up for this video if you want to hear my thoughts on that or if you want to hear my tips and tricks on how to become a makeup artist, what to do, how to do it, how to go about it. I know there's a lot of different videos here on YouTube, but maybe we need something up to date. So let me know guys in the comments down below if you're interested in that. So last but not least, I did want to go ahead and announce my giveaway winner. Um, I'm going to do it randomly with TubeBuddy. I'm going to show you guys on camera who wins and I will be contacting the winners separately um, tomorrow or the next day but if you happen to see this video and I haven't contacted you please go ahead and contact me yourself so that I can get your address and get your information and all of that good stuff so let's go ahead and do that real quick and then I will sign off with you guys I'm just on tube buddy and here is my account I'm just going to pick a winner I'm going to pick two winners actually and it'll show you guys exactly who the winners are so first winner and it's just random it's very very random okay so I don't know there's no last name um the first winner is Aloha and I will be contacting you or you can contact me whatever comes first so that's the first winner you guys can see right there that is the first winner that TubeBuddy chose. And, it, and then the next winner is Aisha V. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Aisha, Aisha V. So that is the second winner right there. That is the second winner. So, all right guys, so those are the two winners. I did choose them at random, as you guys could see with my computer. I didn't want to just kind of come on here and say, oh, these are the winners of the giveaway. I wanted to show you guys as I chose a winner on camera. I wanted you guys to see that I did it just with TubeBuddy. You know, it's, it, it is my first giveaway, so I didn't want any like discrepancies or anything like that. But if you didn't win, please make sure that you enter the next giveaway. I will be doing a giveaway announcement over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be doing a 350 subscriber giveaway. So as soon as I hit 350, I will be doing a second giveaway. So if you did not win now, please stay subscribed and please go ahead and stay tuned on my channel for my next giveaway. If you are not already subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I know this video is super long, but I have a lot to offer and I am a licensed makeup artist, so I can give you a lot of great tips and tricks um, coming from someone who is knowledgeable. I would really appreciate it. Leave me a comment letting me know you are new to my channel so I can say, hey, how are you? And introduce myself. Also give me a thumbs up or a like if you want to see more of these like makeup type, um, you know, makeup artist tips and tricks series of videos. I'm trying to do something to my channel that has some rhyme or reason. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you staying tuned all the way through. And remember, don't ever let anybody tell you that you have to be something that you don't want to be. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.